Hello, everyone, and welcome to um, being back at the Bite Size Talks um, since uh, we had a bit of a break over Easter. And uh, today we start the series with uh, Maxime from Sekera Labs, and he is going to talk about how to use HackMD to present slides. And uh, off to you. Uh, thank you, Fran, for the introduction. So, hello, everyone. So I'm Maxime Garcia working at Secret Labs and uh, I'm going to present like one of the tools that we use like quite often during the hackathon and everything. So sorry for all that. So uh, which is like HackMD and uh, reveal.js. So basically, okay, let's start with the presentation mode because I think this is the most like common stuff. So the usual disclaimer, I'm mainly covering like my own usage within like NFCore or what I usually do like on the side, but you can do much more. So don't hesitate like to uh, investigate and explore. Like I think it's kind of fun. Uh, yes, this is kind of messy, but it's fun. Okay, so first Markdown, uh, because all of the stuff that we're doing is in Markdown. And what is Markdown? Markdown, so it's a light web markup uh, language. So it means that it's using uh, small tags like to do to do uh, stuff, but most of the time like it's used just uh, like tiny symbols as the tags. And the key point is readability, because if you can like read it like this is Markdown and it's kind of understandable like at the same time, like what you're seeing here is what you see there and you can understand what you see and what you read. So for me, that's one of the key points in Markdown is readability. If you compare that to LaTeX or some other language, which are like less readable, Markdown is like high, like super high in readability. And it's super easy to convert into HTML and then PDF, and it's widely widely used in all of the NFCore documentation and the NFCore website. So you've noticed like some tiny issues there on the side, but I will come to that like later. Don't worry about it. Uh, so quick links like for Markdown. I will of course share the slide like later, so it will be like super easy to follow the slide to follow the links and everything. So quick links, I think like I have like one first like quick uh, reference like to the Markdown syntax, which is like uh, fairly simple, a more complete like Markdown uh, sheet sheet, uh, which kind of like goes way more into detail. And then some more uh, documentation for the GitHub flavored Markdown, which is like, uh, like kind of an extension about the regular ma Markdown. Uh, what is HackMD? So HackMD is a tool like for real-time collaboration of Markdown document. It's widely used during like uh, Hackathon and uh, NFCore bite-sized presentation. And basically what it means is that I can like edit a tool, I can edit like a document, so just like that. So real-time edit. And if someone else has the same like uh, URL as I, we can all edit the same document exactly like what we do with Google Doc. And it's all in Markdown, so it's super easy to do that. And HackMD has like the possibility to use reveal.js, which is an HTML presentation framework, which we also use widely during the hackathon and for uh, that I use a lot for the bite-size presentation. And uh, reveal.js is like another tool and it's HackMD uh, made it possible to use uh, reveal.js uh, and it's in the presentation mode. So what you do if, when you have your presentation, what you can do, you can share in uh, slide mode. And if you share in slide mode, then what you can have is directly your presentation in, in slides. And that's all. So to pass from one slide to another, once you're in like uh, slide mode, you either use the arrow on your keyboard. I'm pretty sure it works also with the arrows here. Oh yes, it does or you can also use the space bar. Uh, Reveal.js allow you to really like uh, do a section and subsection. So you can really do like a lot of stuff within Reveal.js. You can use fragments. So if you want to have like uh, multiple uh, steps in a slide that, uh, that got revealed like one after the other or stuff like that. But usually what I do is like super simple slide. So how to actually like use reveal.js to present. So within Markdown, 
So first, it's super simple. Uh, I link like uh, how to create a slide deck, which is like uh, the AKMD documentation for it. And basically, the most important part is to follow syntax. And the most important part in following syntax is to separate the slide. You need to have like uh, one empty line, uh, three dash, and another empty line. And that's all. And then what I do usually is I use like uh, one or two, so H1 or H2 or H3 for title, subtitle, and uh, subtitle. And that's all. You do as you want. Sometimes you might need to have like small text. So I usually use like uh, HTML uh, tags, so small to for small text or. Uh, big if you need big but usually i just need like to make things uh, smaller um, what i do also sometimes if i need like some really small text i use also uh, font i think there is like a font uh, tag that you can specify like the size of the font so that's super simple if you want to include a picture so if it's available online you can like link it uh, as usually as you would link like any uh, picture in markdown uh, you just need like to know the syntax for it. Uh, or what you can do is, is like you can use AKMD directly to upload your picture. So if I do there, I go like insert image, uh, go into my download, I, I can insert like one document and hop la, here it is. My document should be inserted. And here it is, I have it in my, in my slide. So as you can see, it's super easy to upload a file from your computer directly to, to AKMD. And this is the syntax like to have like a, a picture in, uh, in Markdown. Uh, in, uh, in AKMD, we can also use Font Awesome, uh, which is what we use a lot in NF Core uh, to have like some, oh, this is annoying. And I know what is causing that, so I will explain that later. Sorry about that. Uh, Font Thompson is uh, resources that allow you to use like simple like uh, simple icons for different stuff. So you can have like uh, here it's for uh, server. So, but you can have I think there was also uh, GitHub should be like uh, something well more known. Uh, Facebook should work as well, and so on. You have like a lot of bond or a lot of different uh, thing like cloud. Uh, Glob should work. So if you know it, like it's super easy to use. Uh, what we can do, but that is like regular, like uh, so yes, yeah, simple. Let me put back what I had before. Okay. Uh, background. This is like fairly you like this is super useful. Like whenever you're doing a presentation, you might want to change the background of your presentation. So what I usually do there is that I use like this. Uh, dot slide like uh, command and I specify which is my data background. We can add some opacity if we want by using a data background opacity. So I use like here zero five, but you can have like more or less. So zero eight, zero one. So you can really play with that. Let's put back to five. Uh, an important thing also we can do with uh, reveal.js is export as PDF. So this we can do only if, when we're uh, slide mode. So let me show you that to you. And here, when we're in slide mode, if you scroll down, we can see some links. Like we can see that, okay, I made some change like a few seconds ago. I can see that NF Core is owning this node because of course I made this node in the NF Core organization. I can edit back the node. Or I can also print the node. So if I print it, okay. So it's going like to try to print the, everything uh, as it is. And what we want actually is to print everything as a PDF. So I'm printing to file as a PDF. And okay. And it's printing. Uh, so I should have my file saved like on my side. And uh, basically, it's kind of like uh, efficient because you really get like uh, one page per slide. Uh, I've noticed like from time to time some issue. Uh, 
mainly like if you have like pictures like ears that are like uh, way too big so from that case i would recommend like to go back and forth in between from like what you have on your screen and what you have like in your pdf and try to scale down your picture or make like uh, have your picture on the next page or stuff like that but apart from that it should work like fairly well uh most of the issues that can er happen like in this case is that because you're not following the proper syntax uh what we can done what we can do more with uh, akmd you can include your own like css slide so your own css uh, style so this is what i did here and i'm guessing this is what is causing me like the kind of issues that i had there i just We've been trying that out like yesterday. And uh, yes, yesterday I did not have this kind of issue. So I don't know where it's coming. So I will have a more look into that. But basically what you're doing is just like saying that, okay, I want Akimd to include like this uh, CSS, uh, this file from Akimd. And this part is exactly like uh, correspond to like a document there. So this is fairly like uh, good. And you can also use that to include like a simple uh, slide deck. For example, like the, what I'm doing here in this presentation, I'm including the last slide deck. And what I'm doing, if I go like on the page for this slide, I can see directly like what is linked here. So definitely I can see here, this is like uh, my own like uh, reveal.js style. And uh, okay, I have like all my style like into, into like an HTML like tags and all of the CSS that correspond to this uh, slide. Uh, which can could like help you. Uh, what I really oh sorry. What I really like about like doing that is like you can add like uh, your own custom stuff. And what I like about doing that is adding like a multi-column possibility. And that helped me like uh, using like div within like I'm using divs within like a div multicolon to present like uh, different like uh, here I'm just presenting like three lists into like three columns. And that's all. Uh, you could really like do whatever you whatever you want. <clears throat> Uh, then I have like some more tips. Uh, when in doubt, like if you have like any issue, don't hesitate to add like more break line. I've noticed that it's something that works a lot in my case, uh, because I noticed that reveal.js and uh, akmd, like the combination between the two is very, very like dependent on the break line and the syntax and it expects you like to follow like the proper syntax and sometimes it's not working very well uh, if something is not working like reload or relaunch uh, if you can you can also like lint markdown if you're like uh, if you're thinking that something is not working uh, printing works like much better when you're using chrome uh, and also following the proper syntax. Uh, the less HTML, the better as well. Uh, I think the div works well, but apart from that, I'm not sure. I think I noticed some issue with tables and stuff like that. So it's something that that you really like need to look for it. Oh, and also what you can do in reveal.js, you can set up your username. So here in my case, my username is uh, Max Ulis, and that leads me directly like to, to myself. Otherwise, if you're not uh, use if you didn't if you haven't set up like your own username, you will have like a like something like that, which is more or less like uh, ununderstandable. And as I explained, you can also link like uh, directly like another slide, which is what I did just here. Uh, so I think I'm uh, good for questions. So I can like uh, open everything. Thank you. Run. Uh, now, anyone who wants to ask a question can do so. I uh, enabled you to unmute yourself. Uh, are there any questions from the audience? Uh, I had a question. Mm -hmm. um, I, is it possible to add like video files to reveal.js syntax? Uh, yes, definitely. Reveal.js is basically just like a like it's just HTML like, that is presented within JS. So you can link uh, YouTube stuff. I don't do that often because most of the time I'm assuming like a presentation should be like shared uh, 
easily like in, in other settings. So I usually don't like like to include uh, videos, but you can do that. I think I did that like in pres in uh, previous like presentation. Uh, I think like other people have done that definitely. I think if you have a look at uh, all of our presentation on, on NFCore, you will find like some that uh, link videos. Okay, okay, thanks. Are there any more questions? Uh, yes, this is this is annoying. I, I, I will not include the CSS anymore in the stuff. <laughs> that was like super confident because you don't need like to have your own style, but yes, it's or maybe I will try like to figure out what is unreliable then. Um maybe a question from my side. Um or clarification. This is a uh, free software, right? Uh, yes, definitely. This is free tool. I think like I can be, we have something like because we have an organization, so we might have something there. Uh, oh yes, we have a team plan. I have no idea what it is there, like for NFCore, but we have a team plan there. But if you would want to use it privately or oh uh, yes you can use it privately like i use it privately as well where i have like uh, yes i'm making like my own list of uh, book to read or that i will share with friends <laughs> so yes, is... you can make your own stuff like exactly i use it like uh, like i have like a couple of presentation as well and yes you can have your own workspace and have like everything you can have like a private uh, note and, uh, and public note so yes you can do some stuff Perfect, thank you. Ah, and there is also a link from James, um, which dis explains the difference, I guess, between free and paid version of HackMD. So oh, uh, that's good because uh, yes, I had definitely like no idea what is the difference between the two of them. <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you very much. Um, are there any more questions? It doesn't seem so. Then I would like to thank Maxim again for the nice talk today and all of you for listening. And of course, as usual, the Jan Zuckerberg Initiative uh, for funding our bite-sized talks. Thank you very much. Thank you.